doesn't love a good party? Introverts? Oh yeah. Still, even the most extrovert among us wouldn't want to go to some parties in our favourite games. Whether it's our hero who ends up in trouble or other guests, things went downhill fast at these shindigs. If you're just looking for a fun night out, you'd best look much further. Here are the parties in games that went south super quick. Beware spoilers for the following. Never arrived at a party empty-handed. Raiding tombs can be thirsty work, so it's nice that Lyra gets the opportunity to let her hair down and relax a little. And let her hair down she does. During her adventures in Tomb Raider Legend, Lyra debraids the iconic ponytail, <laughs> more like Tomb Raider, am I right? And pops on some heels to stop by the party of friend Toru Nishimura. Welcome, Lara. You have been enjoying my little party. Totemo tanoshindeyamas, Nishimura-san. Hang on, Toru, are you any relation to Sam Nishimura? You know, the one that Lara won't ever shut up about. Sam! 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 Anyway, being a Tokyo media mogul, Toru sure knows how to throw a good party. There's a stocked bar, sick water feature, reasonably banging tunes, and lots of fancy guests, many of whom are wearing the same dress. Well, somebody's gonna have to go change. That ain't gonna be me. But the cool mid noughties atmosphere is soon shattered when Shogo Takamoto rocks up for a meeting with Miss Croft, where by meeting he means scare off everyone in the party, then shoot Lara into tiny tiny bits. <laughs> Very quickly the party goes from dead to deadly, as Lara pulls off an elaborate quick change and dispatches Takamoto's goons. Now that's what I call a bangin' party. <laughs> See, this is why I don't get invited to any. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Carnevale de Venezia, or the Carnival of Venice, is a celebration of fun and feasting with an emphasis on masquerade parties. Held just before the reflective fasting Christian season of Lent, Carnivale has revelers dress up in fancy masks and costumes, getting turnt in the streets. The Italians get a festival, we Brits, we get Pancake Day. I'd say that's a crepe deal. Carnivale, much like Pancake Day, is a tradition stretching back centuries. So long ago, in fact, that assassin Ezio Auditore attended in 1486, sneaking into the private party of Marco Barbarigo. Apparently, the party everyone wants to go to. Signore, signore, come on, come all. The games of Carnivale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. It's going to take more than arriving with a bottle of mid-priced wine to get you into this party, though, with various competitions for would-be attendees, such as fighting, parkour, and flirting with the ladies, which are conveniently no problem for charming assassin Ezio. Signora e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. The winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro. Hang on, I just won that, fair and square. Ah, oh, never mind, I'll just nick it back. Great, now I can just go along to this society do. Of course, there's only one reason an assassin would be trying to get into a fancy party, apart from the mini burgers. And now that we're in, we simply murder the doge, causing widespread panic as the guards chase after me, completely ruining the party. Well, maybe you shouldn't have made all the tasks to win the mask be perfectly suited to a highly trained assassin of the Brotherhood and then pissed him off. Hmm? Or I don't know, maybe had masks that only cover half the face, like this one, so you can still recognise him. Or Maybe just don't let someone in wearing a full assassin outfit. No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. This is your own fault, Doge. What do you have to say for yourself? Welcome to my 
my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. It's not just the Italians and Eyes Wide Shut that love a good masquerade, and Ezio and Tom Cruise aren't the only assassins to sneak into one. Tom Cruise isn't an assassin. Uh, collateral? Uh... Over in the plague-ridden streets of Dunwall, the rich Boyle family still managed to throw a swanky soiree, even if they do have to add a silly party game of Guess the Boyle Sister and surround the estate with explosion-shooting tall boys. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Fortunately for wanted man Corvo, he is presumed to be a guest, despite or because of his scary skull mask. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Speaking of masks, there's an excellent variety, two of our faves being the whale mask and this extravagant moth mask. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. <sighs> Look, no one gave me the memo about not wearing the scary skull mask, okay? There is much merriment with an extravagant feast laid on and cute whale-themed decor. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. But security is still tight, and should anyone work out that you're not a guest and you don't immediately leave, you'll immediately ruin the party. To be honest, even if that doesn't happen, the guests aren't all safe, such as the unfortunate Boyle sister, who Corvo either murders or gives to a skeezy rabbit mask aristocrat to live with him forever against her will. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. At least there are these cool giant balloons that you can jump on to take your mind off the fact that you facilitated that awful kidnapping. Now what? Go for the alarm. Ah. I'm calling the game. I'd really like to make it out of this room alive and not die a horrible, painful death. I know. It's a temp title. Take a candle, light it, and put it on the cake. And remember to smile! This party is for you! <laughs> Anyone who's ever hosted a dinner party has to feel a little bit sorry for Resident Evil 7's Baker family. For one thing, how do you tell guests to enter Supernatural Swamp Shack on their sat-nav? And for another, how about slaving away in the kitchen on a special spread, having someone round for tea, and then it turns out they're a fussy eater? Can he not eat the check? He's not eating! Shut the hell up, oh, for him! If you had dietary requirements, Ethan, you should have said so beforehand. Ethan later learns he isn't the first guest to refuse the baker's southern hospitality when he discovers the fate of cameraman Clancy. Clancy was the last bloke who blundered into the baker's friendly clutches and had a birthday party thrown by Lucas Baker exclusively for him. Now that's effort. It's gonna be fun. Just you wait. We say exclusively because Clancy's the only guest, unless you count the birthday clown Lucas has hired to entertain you, whose routine, if we're honest, could use some work. Yeah, I'll probably just rent a bouncy castle next year. That's hardly ideal, but at this party Lucas has really gone all out with his flair for party planning and parlour games. There's no pin the tail on the donkey, but you can play, uh, inflate the balloon full of nails. <laughs> Thank goodness there's cake. <laughs> okay, we take it back, this party sucks. Lucas must have learned to party from his dad. If your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Let's see, A, A no, it's not right. So it's B, B, Bane. Ah, here it is, Batman. Hey, looks like you're the guest of honor. If you were invited to a party by someone who has regularly tried to kill you, you'd say no, wouldn't you? But I can't miss another of Mike's summer barbecues. Oh, come on, those sausages were fine. 
And then again, you're not Batman, you don't know his complicated relationship with the Joker, and this isn't your average party. I mean, it's the Joker. Joker, having spent a good part of the night throwing goons and Arkham inmates at Batman, <laughs> then invites him to a very special party to cap off the evening. down as a maybe? Upon entry, you find the corridor is lined with thugs in party hats, warmly welcoming you to the party. That is, until you punch one in the face. Sorry, force of habit. However, you, the Batman, have every right to be a bit jumpy, since the clown prince of crime soon shows his true colours on a CRT monitor. Surprise! <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. Don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ha hang on, uh, Joker. Uh, that that blast isn't a pun about my impending doom, is it? Three, two, one. Damn it! Well, there better not be a couple of big brutes for me to have to fight in the next room. Should have just stayed in Wayne Manor. Alfred knows how to party. This is the spy. The only player invited to an exclusive cocktail party. At a party, some people just want to be the centre of attention. All eyes on them. I call those people Andy. Someone left a guitar here. I'm going to play it. But how would these attention hogs feel if one of those eyes on them was seeing them down the barrel of a sniper rifle? Bit nervous? Yeah, bit nervous. That's exactly the case in espionage-themed soiree sim Spy Party. In this game, one player is a sneaky spy trying to covertly complete missions at a fancy bash, and another is a sneaky sniper, lying in wait outside, trying to figure out who needs a round in the medulla oblongata. If you, an unsuspecting guest, wind up at the same party as the spy, you will end up sharing space with someone pretending to be like everyone else in the hope their hunter will shoot someone else instead of them. Someone like you. Look, I came to this party for the free cocktails and to score a gift bag. I didn't want to be in the middle of a game of cat and mouse where the cat has a big gun and thinks I'm the mouse. The truth is, if the sniper takes any shot, the whole vibe is going to be ruined as well as the carpet. Oh yeah, the party I went to, it was, it was, it was alright, but uh, yeah, until the ambassador had their head exploded all over the buffet, it was really messy. I mean, we think it was the ambassador, he had the Ferrero Rocher. Jenny, yeah, but you oh. saying wrap it up? No, I can talk. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. If anyone knows how to throw a good fashion gala, it's the French. So it's no surprise that the Parisian sanguine fashion gala in Hitman, no subtitle, is so gloriously extravagant. You could say it's a hit, man. Oh, by boo! Boo! There's a fireworks display that costs more than your house, guests dressed to impress, and crucially, an open bar. But as Kesha famously sang, the party don't start until Agent 47 walks in. I, th I think that's how it went. Depending on what Agent 47 gets up to, your party nightmare could begin at the bar, This is, this is not nerves. This is, oh, this is something else entirely. Oh, God, I'm getting dizzy. Or the fireworks display could be used to mask your screams. Time to find Dahlia Margulis. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. Or the catwalk could be an absolute death trap. You're probably thinking, but it's fine as long as I'm not the target or just stay away from that janky lighting rig, right? Wrong. 
everyone at this jamboree is in constant danger of a menacing bald man knocking them out and stuffing them in a cupboard. What's more, there's every chance Agent 47 could bypass the stealthy approach and go in guns blazing in what we here at OX like to call going full Mike. Hands off, turn around, let me see your face. <laughs> In short, skip this gala, unless you want to pay the dry cleaners extra to get the blood and brick dust out of your favourite formal shorts. Rooftop parties, cruise parties, you name it. This guy was there, stabbing his way through the crowds. When you throw a house party, it's important to be considerate of your neighbours. This is especially the case in Party Hard, where the neighbour protagonist wants to murder anyone who parties hard. He just wanted some peace and quiet. Yes, in the most extreme of actions against noise pollution, he pops round to the offending party, and instead of politely asking them to turn down the music and use their inside voices, he stabs anyone in stabbing range. Not to mention some of the other things he can do to revelers. Whoa, mate, no need to give them such a grilling. Barbecue puns, really? I'm sorry, that was in poor taste. I'm leaving. If you're a guest at one of these rages, it's best to leave as soon as possible, or not come along in the first place, lest you become one of the many people he murderizes and puts in a bin. Oh, come on, they weren't making any noise, they were asleep! Calling the cops on this party pooper won't help, as the SWAT teams will be there in a flash to deal with a drug bust, but completely miss the murderer in the same house? <laughs> and regular cops will regularly accidentally mow down anyone stood outside. I'm pretty tired, I'm probably just going to stay home and watch Netflix with headphones on. So those are some of the parties in games that you should maybe, you know, just ignore the invitation to because it all went a bit wrong in the end. Can you think of any others? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, you should check out these videos here. They are excellent videos. And also if you want to see more like stuff like this in the future, uh, you should click here. Uh, but in the meantime, I have got a ball to go to. Wait, where'd Ellen go? Who are you? Oh, Ellen, someone was just here. I don't know who they were. Oh, she's back, she's back, Ellen, come back. She's... Ellen, you just, you keep missing her. What's going on? <laughs>